Although COVID-19 is still being studied and further understood, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention's most recent study shows that the coronavirus is an illness caused by a virus that can spread from person to person. The virus that causes COVID-19 is a new coronavirus that has spread throughout the world. COVID-19 symptoms can range from mild or no symptoms to severe illness. Symptoms include cough, fever, chills, muscle pain, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, sore throat, new loss of taste or smell. Seek medical care immediately if you or someone has emergency warning signs of COVID-19 such as trouble breathing, persistent pain or pressure in the chest, new confusion, bluish lips or face, inability to wake or stay awake. It is important to recognize the signs and symptoms of the virus to prevent the spread. You can become infected by coming into close contact about six feet or two arms length with a person who has COVID-19. COVID-19 is primarily spread from person to person. You can become infected from respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks. You may also be able to get it by touching a surface or object that has the virus on it and then by touching your mouth, nose, or eyes. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after you have been in a public place or after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. It is especially important to wash after you've been in a public place and touched an item or surface that may be frequently touched by other people, such as door handles, tables, gas pumps, shopping carts, electronic cash registers, or screens. Wet your hands with clean running water, warm or cold. Lather your hands by rubbing them together with soap. Lather the backs of your hands, between your fingers, and under your nails. Scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. Need a timer? Hum happy birthday song from beginning to end twice. Rinse your hands well under clean running water. Dry your hands using a clean towel or air dry them. Follow these five steps every time you wash your hands. How to use hand sanitizer. Apply the gel product to the palm of one hand. Read the label to learn the correct amount. Rub your hands together. Rub the gel over all surfaces of your hands and fingers until your hands are dry. This should take around 20 seconds. Let's look at some proper ways to wear a face mask or face covering. Wash hands before putting on mask. Apply mask by grabbing ear loops. Cover your nose and mouth. Make sure there are no gaps between your face and the mask. Avoid touching the mask. To remove mask, grab by ear loops. Now let's take a look at the improper way to wear a mask. Do not put on mask with dirty or soiled hands. Expose either your nose or mouth. Do not wear a mask that has rips, tears, or is soiled. Do not touch mask while it is on. And lastly, do not share a mask. It is advised for your own protection and the protection of others to wipe down your desk before and after use. This includes any objects that you are using commonly, such as the keyboard and computer. Be mindful of setting your phone and keys and other personal property down on surfaces that are commonly used. For items used by many individuals constantly, for example, doorknobs, use the provided hand sanitizer or wash hands after contact. When entering the classroom, choose a desk that is six feet from your classmate. Even when walking in the hallways, it is important to keep social distance of six feet from your classmates. Know before you go to school. Are you feeling sick? If you feel sick, stay home. If you feel unwell or have the following symptoms, please leave the building and contact your health care provider. Then follow up with your supervisor. Do not ever come if you have fever, cough, or shortness of breath. What is social distancing? Social distancing is called physical distancing, meaning keep a safe space between yourself and other people who are not from your household. To practice social or physical distancing, stay at least six feet, about two arms length, away from other people who are not from your household in both indoor and outdoor spaces. Here are some safe practicing tips for athletes related to the coronavirus. During workouts or practices, it is important to stay in small groups with different coaches at different times. Refrain from sharing water bottles or towels or other belongings if possible and label your equipment to prevent this from happening. 
Practice sanitizing equipment between each use, including balls, bats, and helmets, to reduce transmission among your teammates. Limit group gatherings and exposure, such as breaking it down and high-fiving and shaking other people's hands, and no spitting. By following these simple health guidelines, you can do your part by keeping yourself and your teammates healthy this season.